this video, we are going to learn how you can add the Gmail account to Outlook 365 version, version 2024. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, what you need to do is just open up the Gmail account that you want to configure with the Outlook and then just go to the right corner, which says Google Apps with the dotted sign. Just click here. And from here, you can see the account right on the top. Now, first of all, we need to set up a two step verification. If it is already on, you don't need to do the settings, but otherwise let's go to the security and I'll just scroll down where it says two step verification since it is on, but I'll just show you how to do this again. And it is set to my Windows security. That means my Windows pin should work for it. So I've entered my Windows pin. Even if you want to make some settings or make some changes, you need this. So if you want to add a security, you will get something like this, which says add a security key. And from here, you can just select a pass key that works for all devices, create a pass key. And let's say uh, my pass key is this one. So I already have the pass key, as I said. So now when you set the security keys, either from the device directly like this one or with the pass key, like I have created here automatically created the pass key just set a pass key and it will work for all the devices you just have to enter the pass key so after setting the security or two-step verification on i'll just go back in the security area and now i'll go to this passwords area now since we have selected the pass key you need to make sure that the skip password when possible is turned on so just turn it on from here if it is off and afterwards i'll just open the outlook here now I'm using Outlook 365 here. So click here. Now I'll connect it to my Gmail account, which is this one. Click connect. Now, if you want to connect this to add your Gmail account to Outlook, we need to sync their emails. If you don't want to sync, you click hit cancel, continue, click continue here as well. And it will again ask you to sign in on your Gmail account. So let's click on sign in and let's continue. And it will automatically ask you for the permissions to use the Microsoft apps, click allow and open Outlook new here. So it will wait for the email provider to process the information. And then you will get this message. Microsoft respects your privacy and you need to check your privacy. And this one, do you want to send optional data about Outlook to Microsoft? I can click yes or no, whatever you want to choose and go to continue and click on apply settings. And it sees here getting Outlook ready and restarting Outlook applications. And then let's go to the start menu if everything is hidden now. So let's go to Outlook new and click here. And this should connect to your Outlook account. It will take some time to update all the emails. Meanwhile, if you want to check if it is working fine or not, just try sending an email to one of your emails right here. So let's send it to the same ID gmail.com and right here test email. And I'll also write here as well test email. And then let's send it from here. And now let's check it on Gmail. So as you can see that it is now connected. So guys, as you can see that Outlook 365 is easier to convert than earlier versions of Outlook. You just simply need to open the app and just you can configure it directly. So guys, I hope you liked the method. And if you did hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Also comment down below if you are seeing some error or any confusion related to the configuration. And I'll come up with more videos about it. So guys, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one.